When the page loads, it gives us a large image, which is probably too large to insert into a blog. So I've chosen the medium image here. And first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and I'm going to copy the image URL. Now once I've copied the URL, I'm going to go back to my blog. I'm going to find the add an image icon along the menu bar there. And click that to load the add an image menu. Now I do have the option to load an image from my computer and select the files from my computer drive. But in this case, I'm going to load from URL. I'm going to fill out the first field here for the image URL just by pasting what I had copied from Flickr. And I'm going to give the image a title. It doesn't have to be the same title that appeared on Flickr. Uh, alternative text you can see is not a required field, but it's always a good idea for people hovering over the image. The image caption area is a great place to give credit to the original creator. Uh, this text will appear immediately below your image. Now I have put photo from Flickr by, I go back to my image, copy the image creator's name, and then back into my WordPress blog and paste that in. It does not have to remain a hyperlink. Uh, you can choose the alignment of your picture. I'll just choose right. You can choose whatever you like. And finally, we're going to link the image to something. Now a lot of people will link it to the uh, original creator, uh, which will take you to his or her album. I like to link it to the URL right at the top of the page so that if anybody's looking for that particular image, it will take them to that image and all the available sizes. So we'll double check everything's in order and we'll insert this into our post. Now you can see it's actually still quite large. Um, possibly larger than you'd want for your blog post. So if you click on the image, you can edit the image right up in the left corner there. There's an icon. And there's some options from 100% to 60% to adjust the size of your image. I'll put it down to 60% and then just update it. And you can see it's a, a little bit more reasonable of a size. Now you may choose to reposition it after previewing and saving your work but there you have it, an image inserted and credited to the original creator. If you'd like to know how to credit a Creative Commons image in a presentation, please follow the appropriate link.